Shavu Tov, a Gutevoch. I want to tell story number 90 of the Shibche HaBaal Shem Tov, which is the oldest anthology of Baal Shem Tov stories ever written and published. The title of story number 90 is Bes Misrasho Shel Rabbi Shimshon Meostropod. The Bes Medrash, the House of Learning, the Yeshiva of Rabbi Shimshon of Ostropod. That's the title of the story. The author of the Shibche Abel Shem Tov, Rav Dover of Linitz, says, I heard from the Rav of our Kehila, of our community, which, me, which is Rav Gedali of Linitz, who was one of the closest um, early Hasidim of the Baal Shem Tov. What does he hear? What's the story he heard? The Baal Shem Tov did not want to go to the holy community of Anipol because he said, I have nothing to do there. Because Rab Shimshon from that community had already done the tikkun for all that is necessary. The tikkun, I, I explained last week about the, the holy sparks. So the sparks that needed to be elevated, whatever needed to be done in that place was done. But Rab Dover made a mistake. The place is not Anipoli, is Ostropol. And the Rab Shimshon he's talking about most likely is Rab Shimshon ben Pesach of Ostropol. Explanation after the story. So the Balshemtov says, this Rab Shimshon of Ostropol already did everything in the place. I don't have anything to do there. Once Rab Gershon, the Baal Shemtov's brother-in-law, went and spent Shabbos in that community, spent the Shabbat in the community of Ostropol. And when he came back, he said, I grasp from the great light, the Or Godol, the great light of Rab Shimshon. The Baal Shem Tov told him, you're fooling yourself. Once, they called the Baal Shem Tov from that community of Ostropol. They called him to come. And the Baal Shem Tov came and was at the big uh, seuda, at a meal, at a table, in a house in Ostropol, and he sat right against the window. The Baal Shem Tov opened it, and in every moment, the Baal Shem Tov was looking to the window, looking to the window. Rabbi Yosef of Kaminke, who, which have, we have mentioned in stories before, was very curious to know the reason why the Baal Shem Tov is looking through the window every moment. So in a moment that Baal Shem Tov looked away, he came and he closed it. The Baal Shem Tov looked back and opened it again. Again, Baal Shem Tov looked away and Rav Yosef of Kaminke closed it. And again the Baal Shem Tov opened it and so it happened a third time and then the Baal Shem Tov reproached him, told him, who is opening the window? So Rabbi Yosef said, I, the cold is coming in. Why are you opening all the time? And the Balshantov said, do, no, do you not see a pillar of light, a column of light, going from the earth to the heaven in that place? Rabbi Dover of Linitz says, when telling the story, that he was told that in that place where the Balshemto point, it was an empty lot, the people dumped garbage. However, he was also told that that's the place where the best medrash of Rab Shimshon of Ostropol had stood. Rab Yosef of Kaminke then said to the Baal Shem Tov, now it was known to me what was your brother-in-law Rab Gershon talking about when he said that he kept grasp from the Orogodl, from the great light of Moreno Rav Shinshon. Rav Shinshon of Ostropol, not of Anipoli, that's how we know that there is a mistake in the writing of the story. Uh, Rav Shinshon ben Pesach of Ostropol was born in Koretz in 1600 and passed away in Polnoy, the third of Av, Gimel Av, in the year 
5408 in the Jewish calendar or 1648. That is where the big uh, pogroms, big massacres of the Cossacks of uh, Khmelnytsky took place against the Jews, and among them, uh, Rav Shemshon was murdered. The Baal Shem Tov is born 50 years later, and many years later this whole story happens. So it could be 90 or 100 years after Rav Shemshon's time, and the Baal Shem Tov is pointing at the place, and there is this big pillar of light. I was asked when I was telling the story a uh, couple of questions. Where is this Ostropol? Uh, Stary Ostropil is in the historic region of Podolia, between Proskurov and Zhitom. It is about 50 kilometers north of Mezhibush, Western Ukraine today. More interesting, in Yiddish we say that we don't ask difficult or conceptual questions from just stories, but why did the Baal Shem Tov tell his brother-in-law, you're fooling yourself, when he said he grasped from that light? And I don't know. I can only speculate. Maybe he was saying, like, you are not able to grasp from that light. Anyway, he saw it. Shavua Tov, a good Tevoch, please like, share, donations in the um, link below. I'm translating all the stories into Spanish with the host to uh, edit and publish them. Come back next week for the next Baal Shem Tov story.